Mo's Garage. Okay, so we got all the drawers assembled and they all are in place and they all work really nice. Uh, I really like the way those things turned out. So now it's time to put the drawer fronts on. And like I explained, my daughter wants uh, real oak uh, drawer fronts and she likes that knotty look. Uh, so we do have some uh, knots over here and we'll show, I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, so what I've done, uh, trying to place the knots strategically on here so it kind of looks kind of rustic but not all in the same place. Uh, that's what these blue pieces of tape represent. Um, I think those are the boards that I'm going to put the knots on and then I do, so I've got five of them that are going to have knots and four of them that aren't. Uh, I think it's a pretty good balance. So now the plan is to get everything cut so everything looks proportionally right and uh, I'm going to show you what we're doing over here so let's go take a look. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got five boards here, actually four boards right here that have um, you know different knot shapes on here. Uh, I've got one that I haven't cut yet, and uh, I got the rest of them that are solid. So now it's time to get everything measured up perfectly, get the drawers cut the exact length, and try to get the strategy so these knots look uh, so they're not lined up on top of each other. And uh, so that's what I got to do. So let's do it. So I'm just going ahead and cutting the rest of the uh, drawer fronts out here. I had some of them cut out, so I'm just uh, marking them and getting the rough cuts on on the rest of them. And uh, once we got all that done, um, you know, again, you know, now trimming them to to the exact length we need. And you know, here we are. You know, I, I got a dust collection <laughs> system now, which I didn't have when I made this video. Man, what a mess it's been. I can't believe that uh, I've never had anything up until now. But we got that resolved. Also, push sticks, we got those resolved. And uh, here we're over the miter saw, just trimming the ends up now, getting everything cut to perfect length. Uh, again, I'm really happy with that Bosch miter, miter saw. I got a little uh, router here, a little palm uh, router, and I've just uh, taken and put a quarter rounding over edge on all the drawer fronts. Uh, that gives a really nice smooth finish, and, and uh, we're finishing it up with, uh, with light sanding uh, before we uh, install them. Okay, so we got all our drawer fronts uh, cut out, routered, and uh, sanded, and now we're ready to get these installed. And what I've done here is I've clamped a straight edge, uh, the full length of the dresser here, to assure that when I put my uh, drawer fronts on, that everything lines up nice and evenly. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and repeat that process all the way through, get these drawers front put on. I'm going to be using some tight bond glue on the drawers themselves, uh, drawer fronts and the drawers, and we're going to go ahead and just nail those together. And uh, let's get her done. Okay, so we're gluing everything on right now, and uh, you can see I'm really generous with the glue. We'll get a lot of it on there. I'm using some inch and a quarter uh, 16 gauge nails, and I'm just nailing the, fr the fronts all together. And once once I got everything all nailed up, I, I like to take a rubber mallet and just kind of give it a one two tap on the front, and this just ensures that uh, any any brads didn't pull uh, super tight. Uh, just just I drove them home in the case there might have been a, a warp in the board or something I just want to be sure and pull everything tight and that mallet just helps secure everything a little bit better and We just repeat repeated the process through all nine drawer fronts and uh, we're Getting her finished up Okay, so now we're staining everything. Here's the whitewash stain that I used it uh, It I think it Verithane. It's a product by Verithane and uh, I just brushed it on and just wiped it off nice and clean and, and it, I, I, I got the look that I was looking for and I think more importantly I think that's the look my daughter was looking for. Uh, I used some nice golden oak on the drawer fronts. Um, that really turned out nice. I, I really like that uh, contrast we had right there but uh, we got everything all, all stained, all wiped down and all done and uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. Okay, so as you can see, we got the drawers all stained up and the drawer fronts and the cabinet cells, everything is stained and the drawers put in and everything lines up pretty good. I'm pretty pleased the way everything turned out so far. Uh, my daughter had chose to order some knobs and some handles for the for the dresser here and she had ordered these, these branch, these pewter metal branch style handles for the, for the big drawers here and this uh, crystal style handle for, or knob I should say, for the, for the center drawers in the middle right there. So that's what we're gonna install. Now, I'm a little um, concerned because I've already stained and everything is complete on the drawer fronts. 
I don't want to be taking a pencil and I want to be marking up the centers and everything for drilling here. So I thought, I've never done this before, but I thought a good way to do this is maybe take some, uh, some painter's tape uh, right here and I thought that I would just put some tape all the way across all three sides and then down the center and then I could go ahead and find the centers or mark on top of the tape and then when we take the drill uh, to drill the holes through there maybe it'll lessen my uh, chances of maybe damaging the front of the drawer fronts with the tape and then when everything's all drilled out I would just peel the tape off and that tape this tape won't won't uh, harm the surface or won't discolor the surface at all and then hopefully we'll be able to just put the uh, handles and the knobs on and uh, we'll get this project complete so let's do it so like I said I use this uh, this painters tape and I don't know what made me think of this that uh, this but I, I thought of it just before I did it and you know what I'm glad I did that worked out really good you know I uh, put it on there and there was no no problems at all and I made this little jig uh, to drill out to mark and drill out uh, for the handles there that worked really good and uh, you know once I got everything all drilled out and got everything installed uh, peeled that tape off and everything was perfect there was uh, there was there was no uh, you couldn't tell if I put tape on it or not and uh, there's no wood chips or fragments from drilling out everything was nice and smooth and uh, you know what it worked out really good so pretty cool little trick Okay, so we got our branch handles on and our crystal knobs on and everything is stained and everything is complete and I gotta say I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way this came out. And even the knotty oak door fronts in front, uh, on the front of the, the cabinet gives uh, this piece of furniture a lot of character. You know, for, for a guy that, uh, that doesn't have the state of the art tools to build stuff with and I cut everything by hand and everything is done by hand. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. I especially like these self-closing drawers. These things are pretty cool. I've never put anything uh, hardware on any uh, drawers that I've built before using that, and I really like that uh, the way it turned out. I'm sure that my daughter will enjoy this piece of furniture for a long time to come. Oh, and you remember in the very beginning of this video when we talked about this being a three-piece set or three separate pieces? Well, it is. One, two, three. There you go. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe for more. See you next time. Jimbo's Garage.